That one feeling a little bit better. Now we have first aid. If people get sick, they can come get fixed, which a lot of people are. What else could possibly go wrong? Light line one has broken down. Wait, isn't light line one the one that bro Oh my god. What's up guys and welcome back to Planet Coaster and in today's episode we are going to be making a lot of big improvements to the park. We're going to be reorganizing stuff because I felt like over the last few episodes I've had a vision. I know what I want to put and where but I started to deviate from that when we actually started building. Like. I felt like the park was shaping up to be like an urban development, you know? We were having building, 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 ride, building, building, ride, and it was all gonna go down this straight path, and the park was gonna shape up to just be a ring around the deck of the ship, and that's not what I wanted. I wanted it to look like an amusement park on top of the ship. So to do that, we really need to optimize kind of the inner parts of the deck away from the path, and I figured we could probably do that with the rides, because the rides are really big, but we don't need to put them right up against the path, we just need the queues and the exits. So if we put a queue and an exit here and here kind of thing, then we can have buildings in front of the ride. So we can have um, our milkshakes and uh, chief beef and our toilets and stuff like that. That way we can really optimize all of the space that we have and it'll look like it has more depth, that kind of thing. So we, I removed all of the buildings, we will put them all back more themed than random because they keep updating the game releasing more and more buildings and uh, I came up with an entrance because I didn't like the entrance that we had before or exit whatever you want to call it because it was just they would get off the monorail and they would come out sandwiched between two buildings and it looked really awkward so I kind of wanted to make one that matches more so the main entrance that we have we have a uh, you know a couple of mausoleum statues to Captain Lockjaw I'm sure he's still roaming around. Yeah, there he is, terrifying the poor. <laughs> what are you doing? He's just, yeah, okay, yeah, that lady looks like she is, <laughs> he is like 10 feet tall. Yeah, you better watch out, lady, that iron fist is used for a lot more than punching. And I've also started to build our castle. You guys can see what I started to mean by hiding the stairs with a pirate fortress. And it's looking really good, way better than I thought. I spent hours building this just mellowing out, listening to YouTube videos, and working on this, and it's looking really good. I like the fact that uh, we could put shops down here. I have a bunch of little shop faces. We could put signs and stuff like that with paths leading up to it and kind of scenery in the front, and then we can have animatronics all over it, and it, it's gonna look awesome. I can't wait. I haven't completely finished it. This part still needs to be built up. It doesn't have a door or anything like that. It's gonna cover the rest of the stairs, but I think from a distance, it's gonna look way better than just having a Ferris wheel in front of the stairs like we used to have. And then I also finished off the entrance. That was the last thing that I had done. We uh, we started this last episode, it was looking pretty good. I just added a bunch of crap to the beach so it just didn't look like a sandy expanse, you know, a little campsite and stuff like that. And uh, if I switch to nighttime, I added lights because I realized that it's really, really dark all over my park at night, which is probably not a great idea. So we have these lamps hanging from the trees and uh, some lamps hanging from the overpass and stuff like that. It looks really good. I really like the entrance, the exit, all that kind of stuff. So we just need to sort out the kinks. I think one of the things that you guys have pointed out last time was that my monorail can be timed more efficiently. How do I do that? Yeah, we had a minimum wait time of 30 seconds and a maximum wait time of 60 seconds, and that was fine, but in doing that, it means that one of them could wait 30 seconds, the other one could wait a minute, and then they're gonna bump into each other. And that's not what I want to happen, so I think what we're gonna do is probably make it 45 seconds minimum and maximum. Right? So now they should leave every 45 seconds no matter what, uh, and then they shouldn't ever meet, and that'll be fine. People will only have to ever wait 45 seconds for another monorail to come down. So can I do that with this one as well? Oh, this one was even worse. 60 seconds and 110. I didn't change that one last time. That is probably why we were getting a lot of train booping. Okay, that looks good. So hopefully now people won't have trouble getting onto and off of the ship. We won't have to kill anybody like last episode because, I mean, let's be honest, that's not great for the reputation of a park. I know people are going to be wondering what happened to all of the employees that we had last episode because we had a bit of a mutiny and I hired some new people. Didn't really appreciate the fact that they started that mutiny, so I just decided to feed them all to the crack. And we're going to start new, we're going to get a new crew. It's for the best. 
So right now the park is paused, which is why it's so eerily quiet. We need to open up these rides before I want to get things going again. So we need to place an entrance. Enter on the right. I think that makes sense. Exit on the left. And then we need paths so we can up the length and reach that. Okay. Something. I, I kind of want to make them not super straight. Do you know what I mean? I feel like if you make everything straight lines in the park, it's going to look really bad. So I might try to make some of them a little bit more curvy. And, uh, and the cues are usually going to wrap around regardless, right? Because we need the cues to be long enough for people not to throw hissy fits. So we can do something like this. Right? Uh, out to here. Come on. And there we go. So that should be okay. It should be a long enough queue for people to get on, people to get off, and then we can test it and give it a go, right? So are we getting our crash test dummies? Yeah, there we go. Okay, you guys are in for a wild ride because apparently the victory sucks. I, I hate that the best looking pirate themed ride is just dog shit. So we can do a similar thing with whatever this is, entrance, and you can exit over here by the guy who made you suffer. Uh, sorry, the, the girl who made you suffer. Who are you talking to? There's, there's nobody on the ride. I have my eye on you people again, okay? You know what? No inner communication, no more mutinies. I will feed you to the Kraken. So that will be our queue right there, and then we can drop an exit. Uh, I don't mind this one being a little bit straighter, I don't think. Okay, good. We can get you testing as well. Hopefully we can get a bunch of the rides up and going. This one looks a little bit better, I guess. What do you do exactly? It's very, like, steampunk. Oh, dear. Okay, so you just spin people around until their stomach goes up in their head. Yeah, that looks great. So I think we have all of our rides testing now. There's something about the pirate shanty tune and the dubstep that doesn't quite mix, but that's okay. We can deal with that. I also need to figure out why night passes instantly for me. Is there a way to make it so that your park is open at night? It's really weird. It feels like it just skips through the night for me. I'm not totally sure, but uh, either way, let's start opening some rides, right? You can open, you can open, yeah, okay. So hopefully things will start to turn around now. We can start building some uh, venues, some uh, shops and some poopers and stuff like that. I didn't open up the, uh, well, the giant drop either, which is actually in front of our mast. It's something that I should talk about. <laughs> Built a mast. I think that's uh, almost as high as it can possibly go. And then I'm not sure if this episode, maybe next episode, I'm gonna build a sail out. You can actually just build, like gravity isn't a big thing in Planet Coaster. I'll put it to you that way. So I'm really hoping to get that up and running sooner than later as well. How are our trains doing? You're up there. You're down there. Okay, good, good. So if we're going to open the death drop, I kind of want to have a path cutting across so that people don't necessarily have to go the whole way around the ship. And I want to leave a little bit of room for something on this corner and maybe something there. So what if we do something like this? How's that look? Relatively straight. Yeah, I think that looks okay. So now we can place an entrance. Ah, it's doing that thing again. For some reason, it, it doesn't let me place the entrance until I move it and then drop it down again. Oh, you're gonna be stupid. Okay, so you're there now, but that's not where I want you. Yeah, the game is a little bit finicky because it was fine there earlier and now for some reason it isn't. And I need to push it over, but I don't, I don't really want to. Because then it's not going to be really well lined up with the mast. Uh, it'll, it'll have to do for now, you know? We need to get money, we need to be serving customers and stuff like that. So put an entrance, put an exit, add some paths. Yeah, sure, why not? We can have a bigger one, doesn't really matter. And uh, loop you up a little bit. I love that shanty tune coming. That, that's why this ride is so good. Literally the only reason I want to use it. It's great. I need. I wish I could make all of my rides make that, or turn off the music on the rest of them. I think I can, actually. Now that I think about it, can I open you right away? I don't need to test you. Yes, yeah, screw safety. Uh, is there some weird dubstep one? Yeah, you're making weird music. You need to stop. How do I make you stop? 
Planet Dubstep, there we go. Okay, so I want you to turn off. No music. That better? Yeah, that, that's better, I think. What about you? Making noises, gears for fears? Uh, I kinda just wanna have everybody doing the shanty tune, to be honest, what do you do? The Ballad of Tentaflu. <laughs> <laughs> da da tentaflu do 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 Okay, where's the Ballad of Tentaflu? I'm just gonna have everybody play that. Hopefully they do it in sync. Otherwise it's gonna be a mess. Instrumental? Yeah, okay, we'll do the instrumental. Oh, it's different. Okay, it's not quite in sync, but I think it's better than the dubstep, right? Yeah, it'll have to do. I don't, I'll have to look into that. I'm not really sure if there's a way for me to do that. Okay, we need some buildings. People are gonna start getting upset. They're gonna get hungry, thirsty. They're gonna start shitting in the rides. So how can we fix that? You see, the problem is they have so many different themes for pirate stuff. So like they have this chief beef or they have this burger store, which is kind of like sandstone almost, I guess you could say. But then they also have kind of the broken down ship ones, like this milkshake hut. I think I wanna put all of these ones down by the water where it makes the most sense, you know? Broken down, abandoned ships around the water, that kind of thing. Whereas we have the fortress right here, so maybe you would have kind of a little city in front of the fortress. I don't really need that many buildings to be honest, so maybe I can just squeeze some of these in there. Where's that chief beef? That's a big one. Okay, we can put the chief beef right around here, right? Ah, oh, man, just fitting this stuff in and rotating it just right is always difficult. You see, the issue is this boat swings back. I can't put it any closer or it's gonna strike it. So maybe I need a different building. Okay, we won't go with the chief beef there. We can go with something else. How about uh, just a burger store? Just a little burger store. Yeah, that'll look a lot better, hopefully. Right around there? Yeah. Mmm, tasty. There you go. So you get off the entrance and you can get yourself a burger. So I, I feel like a crapper would be pretty short. Maybe we could put something like that there, but I don't know if there are any, yeah, like really, the only pirate bathroom is this. And it's, it's too big. I, I don't need a fortress to poop in. All right, here's an outside of the box idea. What if we have people poop in the chief beef? Not in the chief beef, the food, in the building. We can make it multi-purpose, right? We don't need a lot of this crap over here. Chief beef, so we can lay that down and then we can edit this building. We haven't really customized buildings much yet, so I can get rid of a lot of this stuff, right? We don't need this stuff over here because this is going to become our toilet. I don't know why my toilets aren't working, right? If I delete that wall, I should be able to... There we go. Why does it give me... Oh, it gives everything railings. Okay, there we go. So now we have a crapper. I just need to kind of decorate the entrance of it and... Oh, oh no, that's where my crappers went. <laughs> okay, I don't want crapper tower. I feel like that would kind of dissuade people, not be super useful. Yeah, you see? That's right, still under construction. I think I can take this wall and duplicate it, and then if I rotate it, I can put it in there and in there. Yeah, there we go. Now we don't have any more awkward spaces. Hopefully people don't ask any questions. I swear you guys aren't dropping off what we use to make the chief beef. I mean, look at how happy this guy is. He's not one to cause a mutiny, because he doesn't want to die. We can even start adding stuff to the fortress, actually, because we have, like I said, these four kiosk areas, so they're gonna be selling stuff. We have uh, a Mr. Fries in French, we have Mexilante, we have the Looney Bloons, just a momento. Information, hot dog square, hats. Okay, I definitely, no, I think there's a really cool hat store that we're gonna use already. Let's try Slurpees. Okay, and uh, rotate you around so you can go there. Yeah, some gulpies and uh, first aid, nah, screw that. Street box coffee, okay, we'll put this one in here. Uh, like that, spin it around, looks good. What are you, oh, you're selling spicy food. I like it, I like it, uh, information. I, do, I kinda wanna put information over by the entrance. We can have a hot dog square. I love that it shows the little guy that's gonna be working in there before the building. Here we go, we have hot dogs and, oh, we have gulpy slushy. Let's put gulpy energy on the other end. Yeah, there we go. People need their energy drinks. 
here we go. Okay. Oh, that looks really good. I might need to change the colors a little bit because they're a little bit contrasting to say the least, but I still really like it. So we need paths to get out to them, right? Uh, I don't mind these ones being super straight, I don't think. Actually, let's, uh, let's have it do something like this. Something a little bit different. So you're gonna be relatively straight, and then you're gonna kinda come over. Oh god, oh god, it's completely gimped. There we go, that looks pretty good. Glitter bugs, not again. Where's Scruffy? I know he's around here somewhere not doing anything, right? There he is, Scruffy, what are you doing? I know it's technically my fault because I don't have enough trash cans for you, but you're still spinning your brush like an idiot rather than picking stuff up. Barrel bins everywhere. I don't want garbage all over my park, right? So we can just put them on like every corner. There we go, that's it guys. See, people are willing to use them. I also should probably lay down uh, some barrel benches. It's the kind of stuff that we can put over here, right outside the crapper. You know, you take a good poop, you gotta come out and sit down. Probably gonna want a whole bunch of them at the bottom of the stairs as well. This is kind of uh, for the future, because I get the feeling once people make that climb, they're not gonna be all too happy. Okay, so I kind of want to put some stuff here and just fill out this corner of the park, right? We're making sails and stuff like that. This is looking really good. I think it looks so much better than how we originally had it planned. Something scenic and short can go here, as long as it doesn't hit the back of the ship. What can we put there? Maybe we could put a pirate camp in here? Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Um, I might need to edit it a little bit, though, because... Oh, no! Wait, does that just work perfectly? Yeah, that's seamless. Okay, I like it. Like I said, I'm probably gonna add like um, some sand in some areas, some foliage and stuff like that, just to fill it out. So you don't just look straight through it at the bottom of the ride right behind it kind of thing. But that's the general idea, looking really good. And people are buying all my crap. Where's the hat store? There was a giant hat store that I had last time. They didn't remove it, did they? I don't think they're removing stuff from the game. They just keep introducing more and more, but I'm not losing my mind. I did have a pirate gift shop. Well, that doesn't look too bad, actually. I kind of like that one. Yes, this is the one that we had. Okay, yeah. But it doesn't really fit with the theme that we have going up here, right? I, I don't really want it to be all wooden and stuff. Everything up here is stone and stucco. This gift shop, not the worst kind of fits in with the theme of uh, the castle. It's not gonna fit in here, is it? If it did, that would be pretty sweet. Let's see if we can rotate it around. Okay, yeah, you know what? Now we're talking right around here. Oh man, built to fit, right? Oh, that is perfect. Done. Just a momento. Just a momento, plus awesome hats. What's wrong with you guys? Oh, they don't look like they've had a good time, especially the lady that was kind of butt-scooting along the ground. <laughs> lady, if you got the poops, the poop deck is down that way. Oh god, I got lots of people doing the poop scoops. What's happening? Um, okay, yeah, they don't look like they've had a good time. We might want to put a toilet down here, too. I kind of like the idea of spreading around our toilets. Okay, if it's gonna be near the water, then maybe we can put a broken ship one over here. So if I go to shops and facilities, and I go to crappers, yeah, we have the toilet shack. So we can lay this one. It does, it's two-ended though. Maybe I can put it on a corner so that people can use both ends. That would be kind of useful. So if I rotate you like that, I mean, it does a good job of taking up a corner for sure. Yeah, I think that looks really good. And now we're actually using both ends, whereas last time I just closed off one end. So if we do that, and then we add a path, right? Flagstone path, why is it above ground? Not ab oh, it's, it's a little, it's a little tiny bit above ground. Come on, terrain. We're just gonna flatten that out really quick. We wouldn't want people to be askew when they're sitting on the poop deck, so. We can just move this back over and then hopefully everything will work out for the better. Right, okay, and now if I want to add a path, there we go, now we're not up in the air. Nice, there is a lot of vomit in the park. Consider making first aid available. 
What do you mean a lot of vomit? I haven't seen anybody throwing. Okay, yeah, that, that's a little tiny bit of vomit. Really, that's what people are upset about? I guess when you're dragging your ass through it, then that's a big deal. Stop doing that in my park. Okay, yeah, that's a bit more vomit. So should we hire another Scruffy? Does he clean that crap up? I feel like one isn't gonna be enough. So let's hire some more staff. Let's hire another janitor. Once again, we pray to the janitor gods to be gone all of this vomit and we summon Scruffy Jr. <laughs> yeah, he's just hanging around. Nope, he's cleaning up vomit with a push brush. You're just a stand-up employee, aren't ya? See, the problem is the pirate first aid doesn't fit with the theme that I'm going with. Like, it, it does. It could be a part of the fortress. I don't want it to have it scattered throughout, but I really feel like it's not going to be much use having first aid all the way up here. People are getting vomity down here. <laughs> and then to go all the way up there, they're just going to vomit the whole way up. What? Oh my god. It's got a little treasure inside when I shake it. You can hear the coins rattling around. That is attention to detail, okay? Bravo for that. Maybe we can customize our own, right? What if we take, like, a different uh, pirate-themed thing? Pirate-themed shops, maybe? Oh, that's really cool. We might put that down by the end. That's a little bit too big, though. I just want something small, like maybe one of the drink shacks. Yeah, something like that. And then we can convert that into first aid. Found it, now we just need to get it into position. Uh, let me see here. We could do something like that, okay. Now I'm feeling a little bit better. Now we have first aid. If people get sick, they can come get fixed, which a lot of people are. What else could possibly go wrong? Light line one has broken down. Wait, isn't light line one the one that, oh my god. Everybody stay calm. We're gonna get you guys out of there as soon as possible. Maybe because my mechanic can't get down off of the ship because the other one is stuck right behind you. So I hired another mechanic and now he's uh, he's kind of just meandering around. Kind of hoping that he gets the job done. Yeah, look at you. you. You can spin your drill. Can you maybe get my park up and running again? He's gonna go in through the exit because he's a badass. He's a mechanic. Does whatever you want. Please do whatever you want. Just do whatever you want. I don't care. There you go. Can you fix my train? Does he even know that there's a problem with the train? Oh, okay. Yeah, that might be the problem. You see? I hire good workers. Oh, yeah, I see now. The, the quantum flux capacitor is loose. We're just going to tighten that up really quick. Should get the train up and running again in no time. Right? Maybe... Was that the problem? He's walking away. Did you fix anything? Light line one has been fixed, yay. Okay, so skedaddle, go on with ya. I, I, people are getting upset up there because this wasn't my fault. I didn't know stuff broke down in this. I just assumed if you hired a guy to do maintenance, he would. I guess I'm just gonna have him wandering around the entrance now because I can't afford to have that happen again, right? There is a lot of vomit in the park. Consider making first aid available. I did make first aid available. People are just stupid. The park is a giant ship. If you get sick, just throw up off the side of the ship like normal people. Will you please move? But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Planet Coaster, guys, and I'm so much happier with our park now. Just the theme that we have going and the way that things are organized, we're using all of the space and it just, it feels a lot more fluid. I really like it. So I'm looking forward to doing more with this. I think in between episodes, once again, I'm not gonna do too much building, but I might come up with some blueprints for custom buildings because we are a little bit short on pirate themed stuff. I mean, if we're gonna need more stuff like the first aid, then I'm gonna need to build them so that we can actually place them in certain places. And I don't wanna spend a whole lot of time each episode just building one single building. I want to get to building more of the park and to building roller coasters. I'm sorry, a lot of people have been very patient Patient, really wanting to see me build coasters in Planet Coaster. I will get to it, I promise. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.